Okay, you guys, we have stopped to get gas thanks to beautiful soul Pedro for filling my tank this morning. Um, yeah. We had spent 144 more dollars to get the brakes done. Because not only did I need brake shoes, I needed brake drums. <laughs> yeah, now we're starting off the day at $4 in our bank account. Let's go! Alright, so I said I wanted to talk to you guys on the way to Roanoke. It is 9.08 a.m. And I'm... I'm such a good person, I don't know how to be mad. Do I have a right to be mad? He sent that text message saying, I'll get you some money as soon as possible, but not once, not once did he bring up the rent. Not once did he ask me, were you able to pay it? I mean, I know I've had no problem paying it for seven months, but he knew about my car troubles. He knew I had surgery. Um, he knew that I haven't been able to go to out of town much, which is where I make the money. You guys, he did not even ask me if I paid it. Because he thinks I'm a bank. I'm made of money. I'm a money tree. There's my branches. Pull my tree. Pull, pull the money. Hurry up, hurry up. But do I have a right to be angry? You guys, I called him on Thursday and I said, look, I really, and I called him because I knew he owed me money. So therefore, maybe he felt like he'd have to do me a favor. So I called him and asked him to do, put my back brakes on. I bought brake shoes. I did not know that I needed drums as well. All that noise, yeah, messed up my drums really bad. And I had to spend 144 47 on drums. Money that I definitely uh, kinda had but didn't have because it was for rent. Along with everything else I've had to spend in the last three days. I mean, it's freaking crazy. It comes out of my pocket faster than I can put it in there. But you guys, I asked him, I was like, can I call you at 9 a.m. and make sure you're on your way over? And he was like, no. And I was like, can I call you at 10 and make sure you're on your way over because I really need to go to work as soon as it's done. And he was like, no, I'll be on my way. I'll show up when I show up. I'm going to do it for you. Leave me alone. Those weren't his exact words, but that's what it boiled down to. Uh, the can I call you at 9 a.m.? No was his exact words. So he got to the house about 10 o'clock, started working on the car at 10.15. And um, he worked until 1.30 trying to get it off my car. I put up a video on... Um, YouTube asking for help because it was stuck. He left the house four times and went and got different tools to try and get it off. I broke, called a mechanic and scheduled an appointment for this morning at 11 a.m. because I thought he was done. And he showed back up at four o'clock with more tools and continued working. He did not get the right uh, drum and break off because it had fused together until like 6.30 in the afternoon and he did not finish my car until 11.15 p.m. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock at night and he's still working on it. So if he worked that long and that hard on getting my brakes done I mean, do I have, do, it's been seven months. Do I have a right to be mad? Because I feel bad because I'm still upset. Do I have a right to be mad? I'm also upset at myself 
for being mad because, dude, 12 hours to get the brakes on the back of my car. I mean, but time and effort, yes, I appreciate it. But time and effort is not going to pay the bills. It did allow me my car so I could go make money. But you guys, it's Saturday. My deadline already passed. My property manager said by the 10th, the 10th is Sunday, and he can't really do anything by that. So I guess I have until Monday morning. But like I said at the gas station, after having everything come out of my pocket, I have four dollars. Seven twenty-five is rent. We're mm, let go of the tears. Let go of the tears. It's time to go make some money. So I wish you money. Wish me money. Thanks.